Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going over a sixth grade standard working with function tables. I'm going to show you how to find the input and the output. Let's go. Okay, so first I'm going to give you the input. The input is going to be the dependent variable. And then this middle is going to be our function rule, the rule that we follow in order to find the output. The, the output is dependent because it's dependent on the input and the function rule. So for my input, let's go ahead and start with I have zero, two, and four. And our function rule is going to be x plus three. x is going to be our input. So let's go ahead, plug these in, and solve. So let's say I have zero plus three. That's going to be three. I have two plus three. So our output's gonna be five. And let's say I have four plus three. Our output's going to be seven. So I attach this plus three from our function rule and our input we plugged in for x and that got us our output. Okay, next one. We have our input and our new function rule is going to be five x. Remember, when the number and the variable are right next to each other, that means multiplication. So we're gonna plug in our variable and multiply that times five. So I have five times eight. Five times eight, that's going to be 40. 5, plug in our 10, we're going to get 50, plug in our 12, 5 times 12, and we're going to get 60. Simple, simple. But now, let's get to a more complex one, where I give you the output and we need to find the input. Okay, next one we're working with the output. This is very similar. We have our output, we have a similar function rule of just 3x, which again is multiplication, but because I'm trying to find the input, I basically have to work backwards or do the inverse operation. So if 3x is multiplication, I need to do the inverse operation, which is division, because multiplication and division are opposites. So instead of multiplying by three, I'm gonna take this number and I'm actually going to divide by three, which gives us two. I'm gonna do 15 divide by three, which gives us five. And 21 divided by three gives us seven. Now I still need to plug these in to my function rule. So I'm just going to plug them in. I have three, three, three. We're multiplying, so times two, times five, times seven. Now our function table is complete. Okay, so for this next one, it's a little more complex. Because we have our output, that means we're gonna be working backwards to find our input. And our rule is a little bit more complex. I have three X plus two. So the first thing I want to do is find the number that is not connected with the variable. The variable is the letter. So three and X, those are connected, but this plus two is not connected. So I'm going to do the inverse operation, the opposite, to our output. So let's go ahead. Again, I am focusing on this plus two. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So that's what I'm doing here. So I have 17 minus two. We're gonna minus two for all of them to find our new number we're working with. So. 17, take away two, that's going to equal 15. 20, take away two, 18. 19, take away two, 27. So from here, that means I got rid of this plus two and now I'm only working with the three X. Because three X together, that means multiplication, we're going to divide. But now we're not working with these outputs, we're working with our new outputs. Divided by three X, so I have 15. Divided by three for all of these. And this will give us our final input and then we'll go back and plug in our function rule. It's just a little simpler that way. So 15 divided by three, that equals five. 18 divided by three equals six. And 27 divided by three equals nine. From here, let's go ahead and plug in our function rule. We have our main things though. So I'm gonna stick with three, three, three our x, five, six, nine. Then I'm adding our original plus two. Okay, so remember, you're starting with your output, you look at your function rule. Step one, look at the number that is not connected to the variable, do the inverse operation. Opposite, so instead of plus two, we're doing minus two. Now we've got the three x left, we are doing the opposite, the inverse operation. So instead of multiplication, we're doing division with our new outputs. So 
So here we go. We found that out. And once we get these numbers, that is our input. And then fill in your function one. Okay, so that's how we fill out a function table. Whether we start with the input or the output, now you got it. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.